We are talking tarp. Tarps? We're talking tarp. One tarp. We're talking one tarp today. The hammock gear Cuban fiber hex tarp. If you've been watching a lot of our videos, you've probably seen this in action. We've had this for a long time now. It's come on every trip and it's time we give it an in-depth review. So we're gonna talk about it, talk about the specs, then we'll set it up for you and we'll go through our favorite little- Configurations. Tarp, tarp setups, cause we like tarps. So let's, let's, uh, let's break it down. Jump into it. Tarp starts at 250 bucks. Whoo. Yeah, Dyneema is expensive, Ooh. that's what it costs. Um, it comes in two colors. The hammock gear makes this with a 10, 11, and 12 foot ridge line, and we have the 12 foot ridge line. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, if you're gonna go with outdoors, I recommend getting a 12 footer. Yeah, so they weigh anywhere from about 4.75 ounces, anywhere close to six and a half ounces, so obviously very light. Um, and I think in general, they're when you compare it to still nylon, without doing the math, it's like three to four times lighter. Which yeah, is, they're much lighter. Yeah, um, and um, you know, if you want doors, you're looking at an extra, I think, sixty-five bucks uh, for this tarp with doors on it. Ooh. Yeah, you you pay for Ooh. you pay for that lightweight. It's expensive. So uh, the ones that we both have, they're the green version with the twelve-foot ridge line. Um, with all the suspensions, the snake skins, we're looking at about 8.8 .8 ounces to nine ounces. So, so an extra like three to four ounces of extras on top of the actual tarp itself. So we've got, at least on mine, I've got a uh, Wilderness Logics snake skins. I've got um, Dutchware stingers on both ends. So I don't have a continuous ridge line. So that does save a little weight. And then I've got um, Lawson glow wire tie outs on the four corners with uh, line locks on them so that all that extra is another like three, three and a half ounces. So this whole package right here is about eight and a half ounces. Um, for comparison, my Sil Nylon Winter Tarp, which does have doors, with everything configured on that, it's a little bit over two pounds, so four times heavier than this. But how much did that tarp cost? That tarp costs like 110, 120 bucks. So yeah, and this is you know double the price. So we did get this, not this past Christmas, but two Christmases ago, um, and we got them on sale for I think 235, but it was an extra 10 bucks for the 12 foot versus the 11 foot. So very expensive, but uh, great investment. You know, we're gonna go set this up um, and we'll show you the features of it and we will go through, you know, our, uh, you know, how we use it. Here we got the tarp in all of its glory. So before we talk about configurations, we're just gonna show you a little bit about the features. So for starters, um, you know, the way I connect this to a tree, this is a Dutchware stinger. So you'll notice there's no cordage going underneath the tarp. Um, so I don't have the ability to move it along the line. I've never found that to be an issue. Andy uses a continuous ridge line. Here's a look at the D-ring on the ends. So there are tie outs on both sides. Um, you can use a pull mod to tie this out or you can tie it directly to a tree. You can run it off and tie it to a stick. Um, we generally never use the tie outs just because we've never had to. Um, for tying out the corners, we use a simple Prusik down to a line lock, down to some loss and glow wire, down to our stakes, so these work really well. You can cinch them, tighten them down. Configuration you're looking at right now is something we'll call storm mode. We've got all four corners tucked down. Um, this is for when it's rainy, when it's windy. We generally don't ever have the tarps this tucked down um, because we usually have them in porch mode, which is the next configuration we'll show everybody. For 90% of the time that we're using this tarp, we we prefer what we call porch mode. I don't know who invented that term, but they're a genius. Um, so porch mode with these configurations with the tarps and um, the way that we have the line set up, it is super simple to do. Literally, you take your trekking pole, we loosen our line. Uh, the hammock gear tarp has a special um, tie out that includes a place to slip your trekking pole tips in and you literally with these line locks we can just tighten it up real quick and put the tarp 
into porch mode. And then it's happy hour all the time. So as you can see, you get just tons of air moving through the tarp. It's really comfortable. Um, plus it gives you a great view when you're um, asleep. And then let's say um, maybe it's a little windy and you, you want to do like a partial porch mode. You just knock one of them out, tighten it back down real quick. And now we've got a nice partial porch mode. And then in the middle of the night, let's say it starts storming or you need some more coverage, just knock out your final trekking pole, tighten it down, and you're back into like a, a more storm mode setup. So porch mode is by far preferred and it's super easy to go in between the two, uh, what we call storm mode and porch mode. With the tie outs that Kevin has on this, um, on his tarp and the suspension system, it makes it really easy to adjust the tarps and now we have it in what we'll call a little bit more extreme storm mode, meaning it's lower to the, lower to the ground, so um, protect more against rain and, and gusting wind. But really all we had to do is just loosen the tie outs, lower it, and um, tighten up the line logs and you're in extreme storm mode. I guess the whole point of all this is to show that this, this tarp is super versatile, really easy to adjust with the hardware that we have on it. Um, and it serves a wide variety of purposes, whether it's, you know, protecting you from, from, you know, heavy rain and gusts of wind, whether you want the views, you can put it in, you know, your porch mode, get a little bit more airflow or, you know, set it up really high and hang out with your buddies for happy hour. So we've got it in uh, super storm mode right now. And it's, it's, it is, uh, all the way down, tightened in all the corners and there's still like, there's a lot of room for activities in here. So even in the worst case scenario, when you've got this thing just all the way down, battered against the storm, um, it's still pretty roomy and it works out pretty well. There you have it. Uh, that's a tarp. That's a, that's a tarp. Uh, we've been, like I said, we've been really happy with this tarp. Hammock Gear is a local company for us, so it makes it even better. Um, Support the Columbus, Ohio businesses. Yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, you know, leave your questions, comments, feedback below, uh, like, dislike, follow us on Instagram, and uh, yeah, maybe you should look at investing look in- Look at a tarp, for sure. Getting a nice uh, Dyneema tarp.